Okay, everybody, uh, it's time to show you how easy it is to install our new solid state amplifier. Uh, this is something that, of course, a jukebox professional can do, or we believe uh, end users, uh, home customers, should be able to handle this as well. It's very simple. It's a great way to get that old machine up and running and uh, make it perform like it never did before. So, step one, unplug the jukebox. Very important. Unplug the machine and just put the power cord aside for now. We're going to open up the back door of the machine. Here's the old tube amplifier. We need to pull the back door off the machine, the, the rear cover. There's three wing nuts holding the back door on. Or holding the back cover on, I should say. Okay, pull those out. And then the back door, back cover comes off like so. So put that aside. Okay, so here's the tube amplifier. It has three connections on it. You've got your phono input connection, RCA plug, that gets unplugged. You have your three pin muting plug, that gets unplugged. And then you've got your speaker out output down low, that gets unplugged. <clears throat> three plugs come out, and now we can remove the amplifier. There's four screws, two on the bottom, two on the top. You can simply loosen those a little bit. You don't take them out completely because of the keyholes. You just loosen them a couple turns. And then the amplifier will slide over to the left. And as part of that, a connector releases um, that connects the amplifier to the selection receiver, which the selection receiver stays in place. Uh, but there is a connector that when you separate the two, that connector will disconnect. So after that's done, the amplifier can just simply be lifted out and put aside. At this point, the tube amplifier, you can put it on the shelf, do whatever you want with it. Um, but uh, if you ever want to return the machine back to uh, tube, ampli tube amplification for some reason, you certainly can. But now it's time to install the new solid state amplifier. So again, same shape, same mounting. Um, the power cord, the new power cord, we just set it inside the machine for right now. Slide it in place over the keyholes and slide it over to the right. Tighten down the four screws. And there's one connector that needs to be plugged in on the inside of the chassis. This is the play control connector. It's just a two pin non-polarized plug. It plugs in here into the selection receiver. That's all that there is to connect underneath. Now we open the door and we have a few connections to plug in. First of all, speaker connector plugs in to the speaker output. The phono input RCA connector plugs in there. And then our three pin muting plugs in here. Gotta get the right orientation. There we go. Okay. Now there's two other plugs that need to be connected. These are for remote reject and remote selections. So this is the connector that plugs into the stepper input on the selection receiver and then this is the reject. So those plug in over on this side of the selection receiver. One pin there, one plug there, one plug here. And now our power cord, we can route that out the machine, out the back of the machine. So this goes through the slot in the door. And then the original power cord, the one that used to go to the wall, we reel that back in, we pull that inside the machine, set it in the bottom, and that gets plugged into the jukebox power jack on the amplifier. And so from here on forward, the power switch on the back of the machine will remain on at all times because we're actually controlling the power through the amplifier. Now, um, we, at this point, we can put the rear cover back on. Just reverse the procedure. Drop this in place. Tighten our wing nuts. Carriage bolts in here. Okay. 
that's it. Our solid state amplifier is installed. And the last thing to do is to connect the new wired remote control that's included with the amplifier. This is a magnetic mount, so it sticks right to the back of the machine. And it simply connects through the back door using a small modular connector. Just simply clips in, and that's it, ready to go. In our next video, we'll show you how the system works, how to operate it, and everything it does.